Crane Lake has always been a community and has had a sense of community for perhaps a hundred years or I mean long before I came into the world but we did not have a local unit of government. We were losing out on a lot. For one thing, a lot of government entities will only or are only allowed to deal with another government entity. Basically, the outcome of that initial meeting with the townspeople was, well, we as government are not really going to do anything in your community until you people decide what you would like to do in your community. We had gathered all the information that we possibly would ever need to establish this government. But we were a little nervous, a little tentative. The Sustainable Development Partnership is a function of the University of Minnesota uh, that does projects, provides research, expertise, guidance, bringing people together, networking in northeastern Minnesota to improve the economy, uh, the environment and social fabric, if you will, community fabric of the, of the area in ways that future generations will have opportunity to carry on as well. I believe that good projects are when you have good ideas and you have a good team and then you implement, you have a good plan and you implement it right. Any part of that, any piece of that that is missing, the project will not work. If you don't have a good plan, it will not work. If you don't have a good team, it will not work and if you don't have a good strategy for implementing it, it would not work. So the citizens are an essential component of that team. We were empowered to do for ourselves what we wanted to do, and that's the best thing you can do for people. But it, it's sort of a neat process that they, that they do engage the local citizen in the, in the process, and. Uh, that's how it was designed at the university level, and I, I go along with okay. I think the Crane Lake project really is a, truly exemplifies what the Sustainable Development Partnerships should be about. The town of Crane Lake can now levy against the uh, tax base, and but the beautiful part of it is that once a year all the townspeople have an open meeting and at that meeting the levy is gone over line item by line item and it is approved and passed by all of the towns people. And it's given us opportunities now to engage in uh, as an example uh, a land exchange process where the community can acquire some property from the U.S. Forest Service, some of their holdings within the boundaries of the township to help fulfill some of the wishes that were in the community action plan, i.e. a community center, community hall. We could not have done that without being a, a government entity. In brief, what we really do is to facilitate sustainable development in Northeast Minnesota especially in the areas of agriculture, forestry, tourism, community development, and energy. And we do that by working with people who have ideas or needs or requests, working with them to flesh out that need, and bringing to bear University of Minnesota resources, whether it be student or faculty, or a little bit of grant money, uh, to uh, meet that need, to solve that problem. We are the newest town in the state of Minnesota. I said this wonderful country has George Washington as its father. Crane Lake has OK Ukaga. <laughs>